Do subjects like artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science fascinate you? Are you preparing for a job role related to these fields? Well, if yes, then this video is for you. Watch this video till the end because in this video, we will tell you top 10 questions and answers for machine learning interview. So let's get started. The first question can be, differentiate between univariate, bivariate and multivariate analysis. And you can answer, Univariate analysis are descriptive statistical analysis techniques which can be differentiated based on one variable involved at a given point of time. The bivariate analysis attempts to understand the difference between two variables at a time as in a scatter plot. Multivariate analysis deals with the study of more than two variables to understand the effect of variables on the responses. Question number two is, what is regularization? Why is it useful? Regularization is the process of adding tuning parameter to a model to induce smoothness in order to prevent overfitting. Now the interviewer can ask you, explain cross-validation and you can answer, cross-validation is a resampling procedure used to evaluate machine learning models on a limited data sample. The procedure has a simple parameter called k that refers to the number of groups that a given data sample is to be split into. Now going deep into machine learning, you can be asked what is PCA and you can answer Principal Component Analysis or PCA is a statistical method used in machine learning. It consists in projecting data in a higher dimensional space into a lower dimensional space by maximizing the variance of each dimension. Now you can be asked, what are the different kernels in SVM? And you can answer, there are four types of kernels in SVM. Linear kernel, polynomial kernel, radial basis kernel, and sigmoid kernel. Now the next probable question can be, what is pruning in decision tree? And you can answer, Pruning is a technique in machine learning and search algorithms that reduces the size of decision trees by removing sections of the tree that provide little power to classify instances. Next, your interviewer may ask you what are the drawbacks of the linear model where you can answer some of the drawbacks of the linear model are the assumption of linearity of the model it can't be used for count outcomes or binary outcomes. There are overfitting or underfitting problems that it can't solve. You can also be asked advantages of bagging. And you can answer, bagging method helps when we face variance or overfitting in the model. It provides an environment to deal with variance by using n learners of same size on same algorithm. During the sampling of trained data, there are many observations which overlaps, so the combination of these learners help in overcoming the high variance. And bagging uses bootstrap sampling method. Now the next question can be, why random forest is considered as a better model? Random forest is a versatile machine learning method capable of performing regression, classification, dimensionality reduction, treat missing values, outlier values. It is a type of ensemble learning method where a group of weak models combine to form a powerful model. Now coming to the last question, you may be asked how outlier can be treated. And you can answer, all extreme values are not considered as outliers. However, the most common ways to treat outlier values are change it with a mean or median, standardize the feature, changing the distribution, but smoothing the outliers, log transform the feature, drop the value, first or third quartile value if more than two standard deviation. 
Well, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also do not forget to connect with us on our social media handles until I meet you next time in yet another video.